I keep saying it. Man. The thing that Democrats do so well, and I don't think, I don't think that people are giving enough credit to these people. You're really not. What's the one thing that the Democrats do better than Republicans historically and probably will always do until things shift and change? Before I go into that, I'll go into this. I keep telling all of you repeatedly, this is a new era. We are changing the party brick by brick. It's going to take a while, but we get in that old, decrepit, stereotypical white guy in beige pants with a polo shirt narrative the out the party. It's over. We're going to have different people here. It's going to be people of all walks of life. You got Spanish people, especially Mexican brothers and sisters um, looking to be more part of the party. You got more African-American people becoming part of the party. You got to get some of these older, you got to get some of these older people that want to do business as usual. You got to get them the hell out, adapt or die. Because the problem is, and now I'm going to go into my point. What's the one thing that they all have that they have in common? The, the, the one thing that the left, they all have in common. They're usually one voice. This process with Tim Michaels and Rebecca Clayfish in Wisconsin, if it didn't teach you one thing, it should have, if it only taught you one thing, excuse me, it should have taught you this. You will get so much further ahead if you have one voice. Notice when um, that, that house Negro Mandela Barnes, aka the house nigga, oh my God, I gotta put it explicit on this now, nah, whatever. Mandela Barnes got in there they dropped out. Alex Lazary, um, Sarah, um, and, 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 then the, and then everybody else. It don't even matter. They all dropped out and they all stood behind Mandela Burns because they knew he had to be. They know he has the best chance. I'm not saying he's better than Ron, but he has the best chance at beating Ron Johnson. But the problem is Alex Lazary is a better candidate than Mandela Burns. And he actually has something he can stand on. And his parents or his father owns the Milwaukee Bucks. And they picked this Negro that lied about college and has not really done anything as a lieutenant governor on a wide scale. I think that's I think that's fair. And if you want to check out some of my articles, I, I did one on Mandela Barnes being a house Negro. And it, it's not it's not just full of vitriol. It's, it's just how I feel. It's my opinion. You can like it or leave it or loathe it or, or lick it for all I care. You know, it's ridiculous. But that's all I wanted to say. We need to have one voice. Next segment, I'm almost over. <laughs> 